put dimensions in the file name, especially when modeling facades. Now, some software lets you bring in planes or images as planes um, in proportion. For instance, Blender has an images plane function. For the software that does not, it is useful to have an overall dimension of, say, a facade included in the file name. This just makes a setup phase a lot easier when you start a big project or big building or start anything that depends heavily on reference, for instance. Texture before deformation. Now, it's generally good practice to follow the pipeline, in other words, model then texture. But there are instances where it makes sense to just instead of modeling an object created from an already textured derivative, just add cuts and loops and then deform. Adding deformation after texturing speeds up the process of creating quote unquote versions as long as you don't start extruding faces um, and edges. Model in tiles. Now, modeling modular 3D tiles will effectively mean that you're building a 3D kit of sorts. Um, and this will especially work well for facades or environments. Uh, this will radically speed up the amount of content that you can create. And if you start building scenes using modular tiles and incorporate it into your workflow, you're going to find that your output in terms of the amount of content that you can create will radically increase. Use resources available online. Now there are some fantastic free content available. Um, just to name a few, Texture uh, Haven for textures, HDRI Haven for HDRI files, files and Viz People. Uh, now Viz People is one of my favorites. I have a crazy amount of cutout people for ArcViz as well as a number of 3D free kits.